My name is Gene Black. One of my blog readers asked about scrap busting with the Go Cutter. So today I'm going to show you how I go about scrap busting with my Go Cutter. First, I, the very first thing I do is take my scraps to the ironing board and pre-iron them. Maybe not really, really neat. You can see that this one's a little wrinkled still, but it's good enough to cut. And then I sort my scraps this way. I have odd shaped pieces. Let me grab my scissors. And this odd shaped piece isn't going to go well in the cutter. So what I'm going to do is just slice it into two pieces that will work reasonably well. Here's another piece and this is a really big piece that a pattern was cut out of. And looks like the logical thing to do is cut here. Sometimes what I do is not the right thing for later, but I get one nice big chunk, which will go into my chunks pile when I do this later. And one piece that's got a little jag in it, but I'm gonna leave it together because I think I can use it that way. Okay, let me move those out of the way, show you some of the other pieces. This is a piece that's been die cut already. You can see those nice straight edges and there are several layers. And I think I can get some half square triangles out of that. So I'm gonna try it. Then I've got this that I cut binding out of. And you can see it's still got the, cell, the grain edge here. And this is a bias. I'm gonna fold it that way and when I put it on the cutter, you'll see how that works. More pieces that were cut. But look, there's a nice chunk of that. I can get some pieces out of that. And here, is another piece that had circles cut out of it. But look at all those big pieces in there. That's perfect for scrappy quilt. So those are my chunks. The next section I have are my strips. Strips are great for the go cutter because mainly you cut your fabric into strips anyway and layer them on the die, frequently folded. So those are perfect. Hardly anything to do with that. What I was surprised when I went through my scraps is that I had some really big pieces, like this piece right here on the very bottom. I mean, that's a good six inches, maybe more wide. I can get some great pieces out of that. The next part you have are what I call chunks. They're just small pieces. Possibly I could use them as they are, but I can cut them into even pieces because none of them are the same size. So when I cut them up with the go cutter, I mean I've got really different shapes, I can make them uniform and make it super easy to make a scrappy quilt. And then I have these strips which are narrow strips. Narrow strips may or may not work. I go ahead and iron them, put them in a stack. When I get ready to take those strips and go to the cutter, I can lay them on the die and see if they're big enough. If not, I can take those strips, put them aside for crazy piecing later. Anyway, that's how I sort my strips. Next thing we'll do is go to the cutter. Hi, okay, we're back with the dies and I've just laid out my dies here for you to see. The dies that I use for scrap busting, they're my favorites. Now, you can use any die that your fabric will fit on for scrap busting. I just use these because they're shapes that I'll use a lot. Again, use the ones that you're most comfortable with, the ones that you'll use. Now, let's go to our dies here. Number one die for scrap busting is the value die. If you have the Go, it came with it. If you have the Go Baby, you have to buy it separately. It has a four and a half inch square, a two and a half inch square, and it will cut four two and a half inch half square triangles which make a two and a half inch square. Then I have the three and a half inch tumbler block which is new to me but it is great for scrap busting. Then we have the four and seven eighths triangle which is used for making flying geese. Then I have the four inch finished triangle and the three inch finished triangle. The three inch finished triangle goes with the four and seven eighths triangle to make your flying geese blocks. So those are the dies that I use for scrap busting. 
Okay, we're here at the cutter, and I've got my value die, which is my really favorite scrap busting die, especially when I'm using odd shaped pieces. So we're gonna use some odd shaped pieces and I'll just show you what I do. This piece I have laid on the die. I can get easily a square, two squares, the big square and the small square out of it. I tried, it will not get, as you can see, all of the big square the second time. So I'm just going to lay it right there when I get to it. But I need to lay the smaller pieces on first. That's important. It makes it easier. I've got this other piece. Eh, I'm done. Look, it's going to fit just great right over and make me four half square triangles. But again, I've got some smaller pieces. So let's start with these smallest pieces. See this piece? Very small. But if I am very careful, and what I'm actually going to do is use this cut edge right here as the edge because it makes it just big enough to get me this half square triangle. So I'm laying that there. This one I'm going to lay over this one. And that's, that's my grain edge there. So that I get one out of it. I'm going to have some odd shaped pieces that will end up in the rag bag for making dog beds or whatever, putting out for the birds. And then I've got these pieces, which will get me three. I've already pre-checked this. And what you'll do is check each piece first, or you can just take your chances. Let me see if that's covering that. It is not. It's probably only gonna get me two. Yeah, but that's okay. It saves it from going in the trash bin. Then this one, sometimes you have to just lift and see where your edge is so you can get it right. There we go. And then this piece will go over here. Let's see if I have just a couple more pieces. Why don't I take this, put it right here, yeah, and it's just going to chop that off. That's okay. I'm not putting anything else. Maybe. Why don't we do this piece? Because it's going to cover that. Perfect. We've got this piece hanging off. Not to worry. I'm going to cover my die and flip it around so that trailing piece comes out at the back end. Then I run my die through. And when you have different size, different depths of layers, sometimes it gets a little wonky. And it's a little harder to get your die through. Okay. This poor mat has seen better days. And I've got lots of static. Everything's sticking. But let's just look at this. There's a square. Half square triangle. Half square triangle. Excellent. Lots of pieces here. All those are great. I'm just going to lay my mat out of the way. This piece, look, we've got this to use again. And what I'll do, and I just do this while I'm taking it apart, is chop these off, toss that away, and put that in my use again stack. I've got two, because that's all I had over it, four and a half inch squares. That's pretty much garbage. Goes in the rag bag and squares. Now under all this, we have lots of mixed up bits to start with, but look at that, that scrap. But we've got half square triangles. And again, scrap. Now, whether you'll enjoy doing this depends on whether or not you like saving every bit of fabric. I like to save as much as possible. After all, this one piece of fabric, even though it's a scrap, cost me $5.99 a yard. The scrap cost as much as the piece I used in the full quilt. So why would I waste okay. it? So what I've decided to do is to take some of my strips and I'm going to use the three and a half inch tumbler die and the four and seven eighths inch uh, triangle die because my strips fit those. And these are just strips out of my scrap box. What you'll be surprised at is you'll find strips that are the same width. 
So what I'm going to do is lay this on here and I've added these extra lines to the outside to make it easy for me to see where to put my fabric. I haven't done that on all my dies, so bad me, I have to go back and do that. So what I'm doing is lining this up. I don't know if you can see this at this end with that little line that I've drawn. And I wanna keep these edges straight so it comes out nice and even. And this I already have folded in half just to speed this up. I'm gonna alternate my folds just so it goes through the cutter a little more evenly. And then this one does not come out evenly. I wanna keep my selvage out of the picture. So I'm just gonna turn it this way and fold this end. And we need to move that over so it's nice and straight with that. Put my mat on top and run it through the cutter. This is almost like cutting strips ahead of time for it, but I did not. These came right out of my scrap box. So, just pull that off. Have a little odd hat tumbler. That's not gonna do me any good, but I got several tumblers out of this. Let's just pull those out of the way. And we have all these tumblers in blue, tan, and red, ready to go in my scrap tumbler quilt. So that was using the tumbler die. Now we're going to move over and take the four and seven eighths inch triangle die, which is used for making flying geese. I've got two strips of fabric. One is thinner than the other. So thin one to the bottom so you be sure you get it in the right place. It's just enough to make two, so I'm just gonna lay it on there. This one has a selvage on this end, so I'm going to put it face down to save myself some trouble. There's not enough to get three, so I'm going with two. Normally, I would put more layers on there just because you can put up to six layers of fabric and I'd get done faster. But for demonstration purposes, we're going with less. And I have messed up my mat. Let's get it straight and run it through. Take my mat off. I have my pieces cut. And look, I've got a nice piece left that I can use for something else. Can even use this these corners for some more small two and a half inch triangles. So all that gets saved. But I've got my triangles cut. And pretty much this is how I do my cutting with the go to do my scrap busting. I use my scraps. I try to use as many of them as possible and make scrappy quilts with them because it gets lots of color, lots of excitement in a quilt and no waste. <laughs>